Excuse me, are you a friend of Marina by any chance? Then it appears I've come to the right table. My name is Kenji, and you are? Right, you'll have to forgive me for not remembering. I'm terrible with names. It's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. Blind dating was never on my bucket list. But Marina just wouldn't stop insisting that we're a perfect match. So I figured I had to give it a try. To be honest, I've never been on one of these before. Well, I have dated in the past. Casually, I mean. I haven't ever had a serious relationship. But what I meant is I've never been on a blind date. It's a... different feeling. No, not a bad one, not at all. I've just come a lot less prepared than I normally do. <sighs> Excuse me? I'm 23. Why do you ask? Uh, are you alright? You look... disappointed somehow. Did I do something wrong? Huh? Oh, well, she wasn't lying. People have called me Foxy before. <laughs> you still look confused. Am I missing something? But I am a silver fox. What are you talking about? Did you not see the tail when I walked in? You must have been more nervous than you let on if you missed a detail like that. <sighs> Why don't I remove my hat? Yes, those are ears. I'm a kitsune. One with silver fur, to be exact. Oh, oh! Oh my goodness! That's what you meant! I, I didn't realize... No, no, there's no need to apologize. It was a simple misunderstanding. <sighs> Believe me, it's happened more often than you think. I understand if, you know, you want to call things early. No hard feelings, I promise. You sure? Well, uh, thank you. I'm glad we can at least give this a shot. Indeed. Besides, keep this conversation going and you'll find I'm quite mature for my age. And in ways aside from my impeccable vocabulary. <laughs> for starters, I'm actually a writer. It's not a full-time employment, unfortunately, so... But, it performs well enough for a side business. Oh, I... right. Really mature novels, you know? Uh, about mature things. <sighs> it's fanfiction. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big writer in a few different fandoms. Enough that people donate to me and even commission stories. Um, but it's only the most mature fandoms, I promise. After all, I only write for kids' fandoms when I'm commissioned to do so. And that one other time. <clears throat> so, <laughs> why don't you tell me about your job? What do you do for a living? I see. And is that fulfilling? Then what's your dream job? If you could become famous for one thing, what would that be? Huh. 
How interesting. May I ask how you first got into that? Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't know much about those things, but I'm sure you'd be great at it. This isn't simple flattery. I know a passionate look when I see one. And as long as you have passion, you can do anything. Of course. I've seen most people make the most convincing cosplays out of mere scraps just because they had passion. Uh, I mean, if I were the type to go to conventions, w which I don't, obviously. Well... Mm. So, how did you and Marina first meet? I see. A humble origin story, I suppose. My first meeting with her was while I was at my day job. I complimented her on her cartoon shirt and we hit it off after that. Ugh! I mean, I only knew that cartoon because I have a little cousin I babysit sometimes. <laughs> That's all, really. This is a disaster. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you. I was just in my own thoughts, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, what was that question again? Hobbies! Yes, well, I have some very mature hobbies. Like... I play golf, sometimes. M mini golf. I play mini golf sometimes. Ah, waiter. Um, would you take their order first, please? And I'll have the chicken tenders with fries, please. Oh, and ketchup on the side. On second thought, I should have ordered literally anything else. <sighs> Stupid. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry I didn't quite meet your expectations. I'm sure when you were told you'd be going on a blind date with a silver fox, you wanted someone who was much older and more mature than me. But that's just not who I am. I'm still a geeky kid at heart, just one with an adult body. Really? Are you sure you're not upset? But didn't you want to date a silver fox? Oh, well then, uh, don't I feel silly now? <laughs> I suppose you don't mind me too much then? That's great to hear. I'll be honest, it's quite refreshing to know I'm not expected to be super mature all the time. I already put up that facade at work, and it's... Ah, <sighs> it's exhausting. Hey, looks like I found something we can both relate to. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. What do you think? Am I suave enough yet? <laughs> Am I sweeping you off your feet? <laughs> if you're waiting for that to happen, you might have to be patient. I can write that way in stories, but only because I know how the other character would react. Flirting in real life is an entirely different game. Like throwing darts at a moving target. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can figure out together. Hmm? <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> That's great to hear. Oh, are you sure you want to read my stories? Uh, 
they're rather geeky and a tiny bit self-indulgent. If you're sure, I'll pull up my username for you. Oh, I've written a modest number. Only... Mm, a few hundred. <laughs> Hiya, Saki here. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that I was able to bring you some happiness, peace, and comfort. <laughs> If you want to support me on Twitch, feel free to. I stream about every day. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. That would make me really happy. You can also find me on Patreon, Discord, or Twitter. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you guys do for me. I really, really appreciate it. Now, take care. Mwah.